In this video, I'll be showing you on how to set up Sync Yami on a Windows machine and attempt to sync from one library to the other. So, here's the things that you'll need. 1. Any PC. This tutorial only covers Windows for now. 2. An Android app that supports the Sync Yami service, like Takayamisai and Kamiku. 3. And most importantly, a network connection, in order to connect them together. Anyways, let's get started on the video now. First off, search on Syncsyami on your favorite search engine, then head over to Releases, and pick the file specified for your platform and it will start downloading. Once it finished downloading, open the file and extract it to a directory. When starting Syncsyami for the first time, Windows Smart Screen will pop up, just click more info and then click run run anyway to initialize and extract a few things. Note, if there's a prompt about allowing public and private networks to access the app, just click allow. Once it starts, just let it run for a few seconds and close it. Then open another console window then type ipconfig in order to grab the current IP address of our network adapter and copy it to the clipboard. After that, we'll need to edit the config.com file and change the IP address to the one that we copied earlier from ipconfig. Don't forget to save the file and restart Sync Yami executable again. This now allows it to connect to the other clients in the network. Finally, you can now run the Sync Yami executable once again. While it's running on the background, start a new tab and type the IP address and the port number. The default port number is 8282. From here, type the new username and password for Syncsyami. Once set, you'll use these credentials to log in if you need to. Once you're on the main interface, click on the API keys. Then click Add API key. Enter a memorable name and click Create. Congratulations! We're all set in order to synchronize it to other devices. Let's move over to our first device. Open the web browser of the device and go to the IP address and port of the Syncsyami server. Once logged in, go to the API keys and tap the copy button. If it errors out, tap show and then select all tap copy in order to copy to the clipboard. On the app, go to more, settings, data and storage. Scroll all the way down until you see service then tap on that. Select Sync Yami and let's enter our credentials. On the host box, enter the IP address and port of our server while for the API key, just tap paste it in. On the choose what to sync prompt, just check on what is applicable on your scenario. Once it's set up, tap on sync now to do the primary synchronization. Just wait for a while until it's completed. Let's go ahead and set the other device up with a different client. Cue the time lapse. Here we have an empty library sad face. Let's configure Syncsyami with the same host and API key. Using a different API key might not have the same library contents. On the choose what to sync, just pick on what's applicable. After that, tap sync now and it will start the restore process. We can now check out our library if we head back and as you all can see, it was synchronized successfully. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.